Did you know that the Earth's oceans are being used as a dumping ground for garbage, sewage, and bulk plastic waste? Every year, large volumes of plastic waste and other trash are washed out to sea, where they are carried by the ocean currents and winds, causing large surface formations of trash in our oceans. There currently exists many of these enormous garbage formations, the largest of which is located in the North Pacific Ocean, between the Hawaiian Islands and the California coastline. This formation has come to be known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, or the Pacific Plastic Vortex. Around 80% of this garbage is generated by human activities from North America and down through Asia. The remaining 20% originates from ships dumping their trash into the waters. The vast majority of this debris is comprised largely of single-use disposable waste, such as plastic bags, discarded plastic bottles, and styrofoam cups. As they are swept along by the ocean currents, they encounter discarded or remnants of fishing nets. These nets mix with the garbage eventually forming large flotillas of plastic and organic waste. This animation, made by NASA, was based upon their observations of the movement of the oceans from space. It illustrates the flow of this garbage around the globe as it follows the path of the ocean currents. These coagulated patches of floating waste materials are very harmful to many forms of marine life. The species impacted by this waste include whales, seals, sea turtles, and birds. These animals very easily become entangled in the netting and debris and are unable to free themselves. Being held entangled in this waste eventually causes them to either starve to death or drown. Suspended below the surface floats millions of tiny particles. To many species, these particles look like food and are ingested. Those that eat the plastic particulate can eventually die of malnutrition. Once ingested, it is inevitable that sooner or later, these toxins may be in danger of entering into the human food chain and begin affecting people. The tragedy is that because the formation of these patches occurs so far from any one nation's coastline, no one will step forward and take responsibility. But in truth, over the past 75 years the problem has become so large that the responsibility must be shouldered by all the nations of the Earth collectively. This is a global problem that affects everyone on our planet equally. So, if a solution is to be found in time to reverse this problem before the resources we all rely upon for life are irreversibly damaged, we must act together now as one community of nations. Only a united global response will have any chance of putting a stop to the many different sources fueling the continued growth of this problem. And only a united global response will be capable of cleaning up the damage that's already been done, while we still have time enough to reverse it. This planet belongs to all the families of the Earth. This is our home. We are collectively responsible for the cause, and we must also be collectively responsible for the solution. So, what can we all do to solve this problem? Where do we start? Well, it's easy, and it can all begin with you. Recognize and accept that we have a global problem that requires an active solution. Adopt a personal willingness to embrace changes in the way that we do things. 
Adopt in-home initiatives that promote the reuse, reduction, and recycling of single-use disposable containers. Avoid the use of small disposable plastics in favor of alternative options. Don't use and dispose of plastic containers in public places. Take an active part in local efforts to clean up our environment. Take part and support local initiatives that establish reductions in the footprint of disposable domestic and industrial wastes. And be supportive in the research and development of new methods and technologies that are being developed now and in the future. To attack this problem on a larger scale and find a permanent solution. We are all responsible for causing this problem and all of us must be responsible for implementing a solution to correct the mistake. Already, new methods and technologies are being developed and implemented in cooperation with state and federal government agencies. These new technologies are aimed at finding new, effective, innovative ways of removing this debris in bulk from our oceans. Breakthroughs have already been made on new methods of attacking this problem at its source. A new technology called interceptors are already being successfully deployed at the mouth of many inland waterways and rivers that prevent waste debris from ever entering our oceans. It's a monumental undertaking that needs to be funded, supported, and expanded as we move forward into the future. We can solve this problem. It is by no means an impossible task. The time has come that we must join hands and work together to ensure that our children and all future generations have the same opportunities we had growing up. We must act now to preserve their right to experience and enjoy the rich natural beauty of the earth and the resources each of us have been given in trust to sustain mankind into the future. Now let us begin. This has been an informational video, sponsored by the Country Video Channel. We care about our planetary resources, and we kindly thank you for your partnership and participation in combating this ecological world crisis.